Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com, 203-892-4119. So I cut the piece of wood for the power supply cabinet. I got that all planned out, or most of it. And then I will start putting down some parts. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So here we have a Ameritron AL82. Uh, worked on another amplifier for the gentleman. So, looked it over, see he was hearing arcing now and then, so I, I potted the plate blockers, and when I saw this first, one of the tubes failed, I potted them, they, 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 they failed the high pot, so they didn't have a direct short, but they had been arcing, at least the this one, the one that's uh, discolored. So, he's getting a new set of tubes, he also had some arc damage to the plate tune air variable cap. And the spark gap's not set properly, but the the edges of the plates are okay, so I'm going to clean it up. Uh, clean the rotary switch, and uh, needs new SO239s. So, hey, so I'm going to get to work, and I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, he added this fan mod, and he wanted me to leave it, or the previous owner did. He wants me to leave it alone. There's a switch on the back, so. I'm going to leave it alone. I, I will. So there's a switch on the back to go from, I guess, auto to, to high. I told him he should leave it on high, but, you know, you know, so, but it's up to him. Hey, right, so stay tuned. See you guys soon. Okay, so something happened in the ALC circuit. I ended up taking it apart before I shut it, but see, it looks like it was arcing down there for some reason. I don't know what the heck happened, but one of these caps was damaged. Took the board out, replaced it. So I'm gonna have to take the board out again, but I'm gonna replace the rheostat. Seems okay, but it's reading kind of low. So it's a 100k variable potentiometer. So I'm gonna swap that out. I'm actually gonna change that RCA jack also, just in case it's compromised. Uh, looks like someone actually had changed one of the relays, if not both, at some point. Amplifiers tapped to 232. Customer said he has 240, so I'm going to move it over to the 245 tap. So he was vaulting the filament primary, and um, that's a big uh, no no. So, so I'm going to get back to work. I'll See you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I got some work done. So I checked the zeners. I ended up changing the diode. Looked okay, but with the tube arcing, just in case it was compromised, I wanted to swap it out. So, change the RCA jack. Put a new potentiometer in there. Soldered nice, nice. Reconnected the lead to that board. I think someone swapped the board. I didn't see any evidence of solder on the hole for the lead where it goes through. So I think someone had uh, like a hard failure, probably took out the relay, uh, something on the output. I don't know if their antenna was struck by lightning or what, I don't know, but I don't have a crystal ball. So this could be a new board, but I'm thinking someone changed the relay for, based on the solder work. Uh, the guy who brought it to me didn't do the work, so I just don't know. So someone also, uh, connected these two white wires together and put heat shrink over it so someone had been in here obviously so this isn't stock either it's probably ferrite right underneath there and they used like rubber tape to hold it in place so that's all set so it looks like someone replaced the LED indicator uh, the leads are dangerously close I'm gonna unsolder the one with the resistor in series and Slide some heat shrink over and resolder it and then slip it over, then I'll zip tie them together. It was really close to the chassis before. So I fixed the wiring over here. The wire had poor solder work done and it was on the wrong tap. So they're both on the 245 tap now. This is part of that relay mod and I have people don't like my fingers, so sorry. I'll use my screwdriver. So this is part of the, the fan mod. And look. 
it's just flapping around that is not good so um, I'm going to end up, I'll clean the double-sided sticky tape off and I'll, I'll use some Gorilla Tape and re-secure it. Again, I am against this mod, but the guy, like, I want to keep it, I want to keep it, so. Um, it's up to him, but making a note here, I do not think it's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to get back to work and I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so put a PC trunk on the lead with the resistor. Zip tie them together. They will not touch or touch ground. Clean the other side of the relay off, and I scuffed it up with a scotch brite pad. Now it's in there, it's not going anywhere. So, time to uh, plug the tubes in, put the chimneys in, and put the plate blocking assembly back together with the, uh, the, uh, Parasitic board and uh, test it. So, see you guys soon. So, I'm back with the amplifier. It's on 80 meters. I do a quick test. Radio's set to roughly 65 watts. I have my used tubes in here I use for testing. 2500 watt slug. I'll key the amp where it says 15. That's 1500. Legal limit. Audio hello, audio hello, audio hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. And I'll show you the frequency. Boom. So I'm gonna let it cool off. And then I'll show you everything I did. I'm gonna pull my this, my tubes out and I'll show you the inside. Okay, see you soon. Stay tuned. Back with the completed AL82. I'll go over everything I did. So clean the air variable cap. Since the edge was okay, I didn't have to replace it. Reset the spark gap. Customer said it was flipped. It was like bent way out, so I reset it. Because when I got it, it was almost touching. I had to bend the last plate away on the load air variable cap. You know, away from the, you know, the, the rotating one is at ground potential. I had to bend it away slightly from the fixed one because on two bands, it arced for a quick second. I think there was dust. The voltage breakdown rating went down. You know, with it, with them being, with the two adjacent plates being so close, it's gapped the same as all the other ones now. I've seen that happen before. It could have happened when it was being built, or you know, the amp was being built, or the capacitor was being built. Looks like it was run hard on 10 meters. You can see the coils discolored, but that's fine. It's working fine on that band. So I pinched the coil closer to the this uh, strap material here because it was really close to the air variable capacitor. Again, these rotating plates are ground potential, so it can end up arcing if it's touching or, or too close. So that's all set. I high potted the plate blocking caps. They're okay. This is part of that fan speed circuit. I didn't mess with that, and you know, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, I guess you could put it on high. There's a switch to bypass it also. But um, I believe in as much cooling as possible. So, replace the rheostat and I cleaned the damage to the wall. Looks like it arced or something somehow. I think uh, this was put into an open. I think it destroyed this board. I don't think this is the original board because there was no solder on the trace for this lead that goes down to the rheostat. No solder on the backside. It's a uh, one layer board so I don't think anyone you know installed the lead I think they just saw the damage to the rheostat and left the lead hanging which was not a good idea so replaced the two SO239 connectors with two quality ones from Max Gain Systems Alan Bond and his uh, son uh, good people over there so I took this relay assembly out I just unsoldered this lead and folded it over here. It allowed me to take a good look at the 20 ohm resistor. Just so you know, in the manual, at least the ones I've seen, it shows 10 ohms is supposed to be 20. So they must have done a revision or it might have been a typo. So that's good. The relay contact looked good. So I left that alone. I tapped the filament transformer to the proper tap. 
now it's on the 245, it was on the 232, so he was running the filaments hot and at a higher voltage. You don't want to do that, so cathode emission life will suffer if you do that. He had old brown base china tubes, so now he's getting a brand new, he's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes that he ordered. He, you know, when, when I go through an amp and order tubes from Penta directly from them on their site, well, you have to call them, you get a discount on the 3500Zs through Penta. So I resecured that relay like I showed before. It's not going anywhere now. That's for the fan circuit, you know, speed circuit thing. I put the heat shrink over the lead. I soldered it from the resistor and slid the heat shrink over it and then slipped it over and then used my long lighter thing to shrink it and then I zip tied it. So I think that's about it. Oh, also, I had gas discharge tubes. So whenever you have an amp with a, you know, a tube that flashed over, you always want to, uh, you know, change them. These protect the the transceiver and also the bias circuit. And I also check the two um, Zener diodes; they're okay. But this one looked a little suspect, I guess. You know, and you can see it's black on this side. So I don't know if that's marker. It looks like it flashed. These can sur survive a flash sometimes uh, and still work, but they'll end up usually flashing at a lower voltage, a rate of 150 volts. So I didn't want to take any chances, so I changed them out. They're only a dollar each. So clean the rotor switch with deoxy gold, tightened up on connections all over the place. He said he removed the star washers for the number four screw for the anode caps, and he had these really big split washers. So I gave him the proper size split washer. So I think that's about it. So if you need an app repaired, feel free to give me a call. I work on the ones on my YouTube channel. I don't work on FL2100Bs anymore. And if you need a Hardbox kit, go on the Hardbox site and anything that's on there is in stock. And I usually get things shipped out within one business day 99.9% .9 of the time. So today's a holiday. Happy Veterans Day everybody. So, post office is closed. Anything that was ordered uh, late Friday or over the weekend will go out tomorrow. They're already packed, and I will bring them first thing in the morning. So, thank you all for the support with Harbach, and thank you all for support on this channel and for sending me amplifiers. I love doing it, and I'm going to continue doing it until I can't. I just love it. So, anyone with a tube amp, you know, rest assured, I'll be working on them for hopefully another 30 plus years. I also replaced the RCA jack. I showed that before. And this had the wrong size. It requires 15 amp fast blow fuses and it had a 32 volt 15 amp in. So I replaced that. The other one was the proper one. So that's about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. 73. One last thing. Customer added this sticker. And uh, when I would turn it, it would bind. The knob was actually just rubbing up against the pointer thing. So I just took the knob out a little bit. And she's good. So, yeah, 73.